it changes all the time. Um, at the moment, I would probably say playing the songs live. Um, that's where I judge it from because I, you know, I don't listen to my own songs on the radio or on, on the on the CDs very much. So um, I would have to say, ooh, tiny dancer. You have to have a sense of pride because of the things we've achieved. And I think really we became hit songwriters when I changed the lineup of the band and added guitar. And, and Rocket Man was really the first kind of big pop song we had. I just had fun. Um, and actually looking back and see how many looks I did have, you know, I was, uh, I was quite out there. Uh, in fact, very out there and when it comes to uh, fashion stuff because the looks I had were various and changing all the time. I didn't just stick to one thing. I always wanted to change the looks for every kind of tour and every appearance. So I had great fun. My boys love my music. Um, play Tiny Dancer. Play I'm Still Standing. They play I'm Still Standing every day going to school and Saturday night's all right for fighting. But now they've uh, switched to Levon and Daniel. So they do like my music. Um, they like other music, of course, as well. But they do like Daddy's music. Uh, and I'm very happy about that. And they know all the words. God knows how, but they do. They take piano lessons of their own choice. Um, they love music. But the, uh, really, having children, you just watch them evolve. Um, and um, they can do exactly what they want to do. I don't have any uh, ideas what they want to do yet. They're only six and four, so we have a long way to go. I always thought everyone knew I was gay anyway, um, because I was living with my manager who was a gay man, and I've been to gay clubs, and I'd never had a girlfriend, so I thought everyone put two and two together, and uh, when someone asked me, I just answered the question. But, um, and it really didn't have an adverse effect on my career. Um, at all, and it was a big relief for me. I, I never lived my life in secret, hoping that no one would find out. I was quite openly gay, and I was very fortunate about that. Um, I'm a, quite a blokey gay man, um, and I've always loved soccer and sport and stuff like that. Everyone's journey is their own, and they have to feel comfortable with the statement of, I'm, I'm gay, I'm, who cares? I mean, they say, who cares? I was very lucky that I didn't have any adverse criticism and people were very, really supportive, especially in Britain, um, which I'm very thankful for. I loved doing it. I was very um, nervous about doing it because I was having to act with Julianne Moore and Colin Firth, but they made it so easy for me and they were so professional, of course, because they've done it so many times. I thought I might get bored with hanging around, but Matthew Vaughan, who's a friend of mine, the director, and the crew made it so easy for me that I wasn't bored at all and it was a huge pleasant surprise to uh, have enjoyed it that much. I thought I was going to, I knew I was going to enjoy it but I didn't in, know I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. It was great, great fun and, and I'd love to do it again. Mm -hmm.